Uh, it felt pretty good. Um, obviously, I haven't played a game since uh, you know last game against Hershey, at least for myself. And um, I think it's good for the guys to get the cobwebs out, um, kind of get all the rest out before main camp. But fortunately, we lost the game 4-1, and you never want to lose any game, even if it's a rookie tournament showcase. And I think uh, the guys were pretty frustrated, so we're just going to have to have a quick turnaround and try and get the next one tomorrow. And for yourself, you feel like you're going to take on more of a veteran role in this year's camp being an older guy? Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I had older guys kind of helping me out when it was my first rookie tournament, and obviously I'm trying to you know, pay that forward and uh, I guess trying to help the younger guys out with their first rookie tournament, and you know, hopefully they can uh, get the cobwebs out, like I said, and you know, kind of get the nerves out, I guess, before main camp, because I know I was pretty nervous for my first one. So. You saw quite a bit of Mac and Charlotte, uh, some big, big saves in the game tonight. So what do you kind of see from him as a big goalie back there behind you guys? Uh, I mean, Goose is standing tall as usual. He's an unbelievable goalie, and I think he's going to be great uh, for us this season. And uh, I think he was, you know, showing it out there. He kind of hung him out to dry, but, uh, you know, we're going to try and uh, help him out a bit tomorrow. It just a little bit on him. But last year, when he got to become, like, the guy mm -hmm. in Charlotte, what do you think that did for him? Uh, I mean, uh, as a goalie, I can only imagine it gives you some confidence, um, you know, getting uh, as many games as he got to play. Uh, he's a great guy in the dressing room, uh, great goaltender, and we're fortunate to have him. And for you on this, this is what, your third one of these rookie tournaments? Yeah. The first one was in Tampa, right? For, yeah, first one was in Tampa, second one was in Raleigh, and now we're back here in Florida. Um, Estro here, and, you know, it's a, it's a great showcase. It's good uh, to kind of have eyes on you. And like I said, get the nerves out, try and build some chemistry with future teammates, and just have a have a good time. And you're playing on the line with Mackey. How do you, how'd you like that? Did you feel like you guys can't get something going, or is it just way too, way too early? Uh, I mean, 100%. You know, anytime you play with a, a guy like Mackey and as talented as he is, he's really easy to play with. Um, you know, when he's skating the puck up the ice, I'm trying to keep up with him, you know, breaking the puck out of the zone. And, no, I, I love playing with them, and I think uh, there definitely could be some chemistry there. What do you think Carolina was doing so well tonight that kind of limited you guys in the first half of the game? Like, they were really in the pace. I mean, for us, like, you know, I feel like if we're a little bit more disciplined, uh, that'll help us out. You know, you can't take penalties. If you're trying to play the game shorthanded, it's kind of tough. You lose your energy that way. But, no, system-wise, they, they play really tight. And, uh, you know, every time you have the pocket, it seems like there's two or three guys on you. you got to make decisions pretty fast out there. So I thought they did get a pretty good job of kind of closing us out in the in the neutral zone, but, um, you know, we'll try and regroup and figure that out tomorrow. Thanks, Justin. Thank you.